Hey Stampers, Gator again. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a frog in my throat there. Um, I've come on, I received a gorgeous loaded letter from a very beautiful lady, the gorgeous Donna Barrows, who I absolutely adore. And I asked her for the measurements and she gave me the measurements and simple instructions. She said there's loads of videos on YouTube. Oh, that's why I haven't added, it's a ribbon. Well, I have added ribbon, but... I'm going to show you mine in a moment. This is all the seaside theme. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how I made it. And I'm going to decorate it up a little bit as well. Um, I've added extra pockets and little trims and other things. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm not going to sit and make all the tags because I don't have this paper for one. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But um, I'm going to show you a few ideas as well that you can pop inside. Absolutely beautiful. I love these papers and I've had a look online. They are very nice. Very nice indeed. So I'm doing a Christmas themed one and I'm using my stash. So this is my one. I've put little bo uh, buttons on the collar as it's called. This is a pocket. You can get stuff in there. There is two pockets in here. If you can, if you can see there. Well, that keeps coming undone for some reason. There's one at the back there, and there's one there, and I've added an extra little one on there for small embellishments or tags. And then you've got one on the back as well, and I've added some ribbon to the back of there. And this is, because I put glue, uh, the tape, right on the end, it gives it a bit of an expansion, so you can fit more stuff in the back. So it, it won't come off because it's on with this tape, and it's this is really strong. But, uh, yeah, I think I, I put uh, tear tape under there and I think I should have added a bit of glue as well. So I'll do that on this one. But isn't that adorable? Can you imagine that with some thank you cards or some Christmas cards, some gift tags and some little embellishments and maybe some more uh, cards and envelopes in the back there. Bigger gift tags. Oh, because the one Donna sent me, oh, it was just amazing. She's got sequins and these little cutouts and this beautiful card in the back. So absolutely adorable and I'd love to sit and make every single element with you but um, I'm just going to show you how to make the pocket there. Uh, the loaded envelopes they're called I think. But how cute is this stuff? I love this ribbon. I love this ribbon. So yeah, it's so they're so simple to make as well. Absolutely adorable. So I'm going to stand mine up there. What you're going to need are some 12 by 12 cardstock. I've got this to contrast with this. This one's got trees on one side and stars on the outside. So I'm going to have my trees on the inside. And then we're going to add some pockets with this. Maybe some other colours because I've got my, pan my pad with me. It's here and it's called Festive Chic and it was like $1.99 from the range. I love it. So we've got some darker colours here as well. We can use some of, of these. These are just um, off cuts. I do like the double sided ones though. Um, this one is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. We can perhaps use some of that as a pocket. Maybe even that side as a pocket. So, we, we just build it as we go along, how's that? <laughs> so, but I thought I'd keep it as a Christmas theme. Because I just, uh, I love Christmas theme. And with Christmas coming up, they'd make perfect gifts. So, you're going to keep your pattern. This is going to be on the inside, so you don't really want, like this one, you want your baubles to be looking the right way. So, you're going to score this at three and a quarter and eight and three quarters because it's just coming in three and a quarter this side so one two three yeah so it's eight and three quarters this side you're going to flip it and then we're going to score this is the bottom so you have to flip it to the right and you're going to score it three and a half that's all our scoring for a moment mind you we could let's have a look let me check the width of this this is not quite, oh it is, is it? No, it's not quite six and a half, so I need, let me cut this down. 
So trimmer and scoreboard all at once. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this along. I need this to be six and a half. And I'm going to have this pocket at four inches. And then we are going to, I'm going to keep this little one inch strip as well. So let's get some ooh, scoring done for this. So the piece we've just cut, you're just going to score this at half inch on three sides. Yep. Oops. And half inch. And then we're going to just score this one at half inch either side. Because your pocket is five and a half wide, so that's why there's six and a half. Oops, a daisy. Right, let's fetch our... We can burnish these if you want to, whilst we're here. And it's really good, it's 200 GSM paper, this uh, design of scissors paper. Is. So it with, can withstand this sort of project, if you know what I mean. So what I do with these, I just literally mitre into the corner and mitre that way. So you've got, you haven't got the bulk of this corner square. So we're going to then add tape to these three sides and then that's going to be another pocket. And this little one, we're just going to bend those over. And when we add tape to these, I'm going to add a tiny, tiny one eighth of an inch strip of that yellow tape along there. So that's the only two bits of waste up to now. How are you all doing? Are you having a nice day? Have you had a nice week? Are you all plodding along lovely? Or have you got any woes? Come and tell them. Share them with us. With Granny Gainer. <laughs> I could have... Uh, everyone likes to have a little um, vent, as I call it. So if you've got anything you want to vent off your chest, come and tell me. Come on. That's what I'm here for. So I am adding my tape right along the edge this time. And I finally got my big shot back. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm going to add there. I'm just going to add a double layer just to be on the safe side. Whoops! And on this side as well. This is a tiny pocket, but you, you can use it as a little tuck spot. So it doesn't matter how big or deep they are. It depends on what you want to fill them with. This would be great for gift tags. Nice little tuck spot. Having them poking out the top in gorgeous matching designer series paper would look fabulous. Or anything from this range of papers that I'm using. Because every single one of the designs is just outstanding. We may even get to make some little tabs, maybe. We'll see what the time is like and whether I, my camera starts to flash at me as if say, no, stop, don't do no more. <laughs> so on this one, I'm using tear tape. It's a little bit wider. And again, I'm gonna go close to this edge to give me that little expansion room on the sides. So if I had a cut, if I stuck my tape very close here, then there would have been no give in the side. So I'm adding it in there, so it will come away a tiny little bit to aid with the bulk of whatever you're putting in there. So again, right along the edge. And right along this one as well. Because, I mean, they are pretty tight if you were, uh, but if you want to keep them a little bit on the loose side, Put your tape on the inside to allow for expansion. And that's all I'm saying on the matter. <laughs> but each to their own anyway, innit? If you want it, but if you want it pin tight, then put it right across 
the crease line, not the edge line. Perfect. So we've got those taped up ready. We'll affect our large piece in now. Now this is our bottom flap. So we're just going to reinforce the score line. And then we're going to open it out. I've got some fluff there off our ribbon. And then making sure these fit edge to edge. And we burnish these score lines as well. And you'll see that they overlap just a fraction. So keeping it lined up at the bottom as well. Burnish your score line. Right, what we're going to do now, I am just going to mitre into this corner ever so slightly. Literally taking that off. So when we fold this together and bring it up, it doesn't stick out the top. See, when you because it's got, you'd have that lip. So literally, just go from the corner. Just take about a quarter of an inch, or an eighth of an inch even, not so much. So when we fold these over, we're going to glue this together, and then that would tuck up nicely. And you haven't got none of it showing here. Isn't that cool? So, you don't want to add tape. Leave about two, two and a half inches at the top. So let's get this one. Ooh, now I'm, I'm going to go down one, two, three trees and add my tape. And you think you only need it on one side. You might be able to get away with one side. I did on mine. So I'm just going to burnish that. And then when we fold this over, we can add that, take that tape off. I've got so much stuff on this side. Then we're going to fold this right over here, bringing it. Make, see how the score lines match up perfectly? And I'm just going to keep reimbursing those Reimburse, yes, reimbursing those score lines. <laughs> so now, when we tuck this over, we're going to need tape down the side, and I'm going to use glue because I certainly don't want this to come undone. So just keep burnishing. It will look a bit bulky, but I like the fact that that's doing that because it gives you that pocket space. More tear tape, and I'm going to use a bit of wet glue as well for wiggle space for one, and to make sure it adheres down and stays stuck down. Again, just reimburse your score lines. I've lost my pokey tool, there it is. <laughs> Just gonna grab some glue. You don't need a lot of the glue, it's just there for help with security to make sure it stays closed for one. So I'm gonna make sure that is right up to the score line. Don't worry about any that ooze out with this cosmic shimmer acrylic glue. It's really good, it dries clear and it comes off like a dream. So now we're going to put your bone fold inside. Just fetch that all the way down to there. There we go. Just keep your bone fold up. It's right along the edge. Just give it a good rub. 
and see what I mean? You've got two pockets then. You've got this one and this one. So another one with this, with the glue. If people are putting their hands in and out and tucking stuff in there, it's definitely not going to come away from this side. So I've got a little bit of glue showing there. I know it dries clear, but you don't want big bulges of glue all over your project. There we go. My mat is moving all over the place. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to use this as a fan right now. Oh, I'm boiling, 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 boiling. Right. With these, because we didn't go all the way up, you're going to try your best and just give them a bit of manoeuvring with your bone folder. You might only be able to do it one side, so... It's just to kill the collars down, as you say. And then, these are going to attach right down this side. You don't have to be perfect on all the way out to the edge, but because my tape is coming up there, I put a bit too high the tape. Don't worry about that. If you do go up, just push it in with your pokey tool. So they're going to get attached to here. So again, I'm going to use a bit of tear tape and wet glue. So just putting enough on the edge there. Don't worry about the overhang, because once we pick the back off, just flick it inwards. Just flick it into yourself. And you will have to hold this down for a little bit. So I'm going to try and get it all the way to the edge there, like that. And then I'm just going to hold it down. getting off any excess glue. You should wait for it to dry really, but I'm impatient. I like to think I can do it as I'm going along. That is, just don't pull at it right now. Give it a good five, ten minutes. So try and get your bone folded to manipulate this side too. Even if you just get it to wrap around. Grab your paper sort of thing. So, and there we go, manipulate that paper underneath. So when we add our tape and glue, it will, it doesn't have to be right along the edge, but it just looks a wee little bit neater. So there we are, I've managed to pull that down. So with my finger, I'm just going to make a crease into the corner. And then that then can, and we can puff them up when we're done. So, a bit more tear tape. Can you see all this? Sorry. Just under that flap. I suppose you could do this first, but uh, you know I me, mean? I like to do things the hard way. No, it's not hard, it's just, I love it. And I tell you what, this is only the third one I've ever made. And the first one was last night, whilst talking to somebody on Messenger. In fact, it was Donna I was talking to on Messenger last night. Mind you, you won't see this for a day or two, so sorry, I do apologise. But hold your finger down and just curl it up. Oh, they are just so cute. Right, now I've got these buttons that I bought from the ranged. The range. The ranged, I said. So you've got two tone, you've got dark and you've got light. And I'm going to go with the dark because they're so cute. Again. Oh, I do apologise, I've got a sniffle. I'm going to use glue dots and a little bit of glue. Because the glue dots won't come through. 
because they're quite thick. And I'm just doing this for decoration. Oops. I'm a noisy beggar tonight. I know that. So pull one of your glue dots off. You only need a touch. Just a little blob of glue. And I'm going to add that right on there. Making sure my buttons are lined up. I'm just going to press that down for a minute. And with the glue, if your button's not straight, you've got a little bit of wiggle space. I'm just poking that down. I'm going to repeat that over there. I'm just going to drag that over. A little blob of glue. Line up my buttons. And push that down. Yay, it looks so cute. So I'm just going to line that up. Give it another press. You could add a rhinestone. Let me have a look and see if I can get a rhinestone in there as well. When I can find them. Where have you gone? You always go like walk. Oh, there they are. They always gonna like walk about on me. Oh, I am so hot. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We've managed to get that in there. I'm just pressing it down. Oh, I love it. Love it. Oh, that is so cute. Look at those rhinestones in my buttons. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Right, so I might have to trim this down because it's going to be the same size otherwise. Yeah, I'm going to fetch my trimmer in. Even though there's tape on there, don't worry about that. And I'm going to remove about an inch, maybe inch and a quarter. So I'm going to take it to this side. And if we need that for anywhere else, if you just add a bit of glue at the bottom. Oh, that's better. Let's have a look. And that's going to go down there. Oh, that is so cute. So I've got one, two, three, four, five pockets on the front of mine. And then we've got this. Oh, we haven't added our large one yet on the back. So, ooh, I need some more paper. Right, let's pick some of this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And what colour? We've got stars there, so... Oh, I think I'm going to add some stripes. What do you reckon? That will be gorgeous. Let me just grab it. So what you want is, oh, it's lovely. So I'm going to do the width on this. It's six and a half again, so we can score half inch either side. Perfect. Now, determine how far you want to come up to your box. Do you want to keep it level? I want to come up slightly higher. So I'm going to leave that at... Five. Oh, that's six and a half. Yeah, I'm going to do... Let's measure this. Where's my... T so that one has come up... Three and a half. So I'm going to come up four and a half on this one, just to stagger the levels. Love them stripes. Or oh, we could even have the swirls on the back. It's entirely up to you, but I love the stripes. And it's a learning curve for me, because like I'm saying, this is only the third one. I made the... If the second one, literally 10 minutes before I started filming, and I made one last night. So I've got a line there. Oh, look at that. They both go down the white lines. And then turn this around and score this at half inch. Doesn't matter if you do it that side or this side. So 
So, oh, there's this beautiful, oh, isn't it lovely? Star stripes and trees. Oh, I love it. So, I'm just going to nick up again. Mitre in. And the same on this side. matter. You're not losing a lot of paper see when you're making this project. I've got little pockets everywhere. And I'm loving that it's double sided tape. It's so cute. And with this one again I'm going to add my tape right in close so it expands a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Wait there. Come on, Gaina. Take it off. Slowly. Fold it in. That's better. Oh, no. I was right. Right along the edge at the back. If you have it at the edge at the front, which is here, then it would be tight. This will allow for expansion. Same at the bottom. Same along this side as well. Perfect. Don't worry about these sides I've been a whole bit hang. When you peel this off, you just flick it back in with your finger. What I find easier is to put this down and butt it up close. Then push it over. You know then that you're perfectly level at the bottom. So it's just a matter of tucking your sides in as well. And then this side. All right into place there. And it'll come up there. And look, see, you've got that space for that expansion. It's not going to come away from the sides. Oh, that's a star. Ah, it's not going to come away from the side. It's just going to allow you to pack a little bit more in there. So there's one pocket. There's two. There's three and four and five. And we're going to add this little one here as well. I think it looks like a pair of folded pyjamas, don't you? It's just so cute. <laughs> I love purple. Oh, I, always, I used to wear purple makeup. I put so much on one day when I was about 17. My brother said, are you sure you have not just had a heart attack? Because you look like you, you were about to pass out. And I never wore purple makeup again. It's mad what you do when you're 17, isn't it? So line those two edges up, bring that across, and then we can tuck the sides in. Because I like to give so much in, like the pocket letters and loaded envelopes now, so, oof. Um, I like to give so much that uh, I, I love it, the fact that it's got a bit of a pouch there sticks up not nice flat as well oh I'm gonna put a bit of deco ri ribbon on there because it's clashing against there and I think that piece is just beautiful I'm loving the stars and stripes at the back beautiful so I'm gonna get some ribbon on there as well are we gonna use these you want a little top spot at the back so you could put cards and envelopes in there and then postage stamps and gift tags even Oh, we're going to use this little tiny one. Because I have put tape on this one. Oh, let's use this one. We've got pockets tucked everywhere. 
So you, really, you could have, well, you just keep building on them pockets. It's entirely up to you. You can have the standard one, two, three, four if you wanted. But everyone likes a little bit extra. But the, oh, look at that. Coming to the end of the roll, that's what it is. So I can squeeze them in now. What she says. It's so strong this tape. And I oh there we go. I've only got to line this up now. So right the way along the bottom there. Come on. Perfect. Like I say, it's your preference. You're the one that's been building and making it, but I'm just loving the extra little bits of space to add all these little things. It's just so cute. Oh my gosh, we could even use that and decorate that so it looks like, um... oh yeah, I think I'm gonna put that on there. I'm not gonna seal it though. You'd be able to tuck stuff behind if you've got something really tall. Where am I now? Pokey tool. It's gone missing. There it is. <laughs> yeah, so this is accessible. Right on the edge there. Perfect, and then making sure this is right on the up to the top on this one. So they could, you could look at that and think, oh wow, but then if you tuck stuff behind there, let me get something tall. Say this, for instance, you could tuck that in there and in there, and that way you've got more stability for the height. Because if you just add a few, you couldn't put it in there without it flopping out the way. So, oh, I like it. Love it. So I can tuck that in there. Oh, love it. I'm just going to pinch my corners. Because we've rounded them. It does little, look like it's bowing over a bit. But oh, isn't that adorable? So we've got one, two, three... I do get one, two, three, four. Why isn't the fifth one? <laughs> and then we got five and six right at the very, very back as well. And this, oh, I just love it. Love it. Love, love, love. It's up to you. Make them how you want. Um, I'm going to add some ribbon across here now. Which one are we going to put on? I've had these from the range. I think it was little craft sensations deco ribbon. So come in packs of four. We can get the end open. There we go. Oh, they, they nibbled the end, as they say, with the. A lighter, so I've got one to hand because I had to do it to my other one. So just basically, just you don't have to hold it there for long at all. Oh, and then you can glue that right along the edge. So I'm allow for an overhang. Because it's easier to trim off after than trying to trim it now and getting it spot on. Oh, I am. Oh. Itchy. Sniffling. What am I doing now? I'm going to use tear tape. Slobbering as well. I think it come out of my lighter. It's been dodgy all day. So I'm just gonna trim that. 
trim that. I'm going to trim it all because I know I've got a little bit spare. There we go. Oh, there you go. Can you hear him? He's, oh, he's, he's on dodgy land. Right, I'm going to trim this one now as well. Because I think that stops the fraying when it's got its tape on. So I don't think I need my pokey tool. It does come off quite easy with cloth. The backing. You could add it to both. Uh, you could just tie a ribbon all the way around. It's like uh, the lovely Donna did with hers. It's endless what you can do with these pockets, these envelopes. Absolutely endless. And what you can fill them with is, is just anything. Anything you want. Perfect. I love that little trim. I'm going to add some sequins along there now. And I'm just going to trim this little piece off. Always go from the back, they say. Keeps it level. Perfect. So I am going to do the lighter thing just to be on the safe side. So I'm literally just waving it over. I don't want to set fire to my project. <laughs> right, sequins. I've got some lovely sequins. Oh, so that's what you can do with these. I love them. And I've got this, everything today is from the range. Apart from my tear tape, so I've got these lovely dark ones, and I've got some silver. Oh, just gorgeous! And these beautiful pale purple. So I'm going to use a mixture of the two. And I'm even going to add a little bag to whoever I send this one to. Oh, girls, I'm sweating paints. It's so warm in my house. Oh. The other one was on earlier. Um, what else was it? Oh, I can't remember. The stove top was on. I think Frankie had gone and switched the heating on by mistake. Oh my gosh, we were all swelted. Absolutely swelted. So I'm going to alternate them. I'm going to add less glue as well this time. Try and keep them even. Isn't they gorgeous? Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Just don't go sliding down. And then think it's with this. Now you're just going to have to leave it to dry because it's ribbon it's going on. It may take a little bit longer to dry. Oops, see, it's good stuff the glue is, but it does take a while to go off. They're looking even. Do I need to pull that one across a bit more? Oh, doesn't want to stick. I will find something to make it stick if they don't want to stick. But, oh no, gosh. Am I going to be using something else, I think? Oh, how do I get ribbon to stick? <laughs> Sequence to stick to ribbon. There's a new one on me. Am I using the wrong glue, do you reckon? Or will it go off eventually? I've seen people add uh, uh, sequence to material, but I'm not sure how they do it. Am I not 
pressing down hard enough, I don't know. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna really give that one a bit of willy. Let me just get the lid back on it. I am sweating pints. My hands are all dripping. There we go. Oh, I've got that right down to a T. There's a bit of a big gap in that one, so I'm going to just move this one down slightly. I'm just going to press. Each one down. They may need a little touch more glue, but oops, that one's definitely come off. Come on. I think that one might need a bit more glue. Oh, they're all coming off. Look at that. I will find a way to get them glued on. If not, then I'm just going to remove them <laughs> and put some more ribbon over the top. I bet you're all shouting at me now, knowing there's something really simple that I could do to get them to stay on there. Do you reckon a glue dot? Is that stuck? Let's just test. No, none of them. What am I to do? <laughs> oh, that's for the want of trying. Trust me. Oh, I'm boiling. Right, I'm going to leave you all there, I think, at the moment. We've got border punches. You could add beautiful borders. Please don't add them sequins. <laughs> i got black Nouveau dots, but I won't put them on. I'm just trying to think. What have I also got to to dazzle this up with. Ooh. I'm trying to think. If you think of it, I might even. Do you think these will fit? Let me remove one of those sequins. Because these have got an adhesive back anyway, so. Do you think they would cover that up? Well, that one hasn't come off. So I'm adding pearls instead. How's that? Let me spot them. In fact, I might add them all the way along there, actually, because they do look quite cute, them pills. So I'm going to go in between and where the glue was. Yep. Okay, come on. Nice big pills as well, and I could even run my blends over them and change the colour. So cute. Oops. Oh, I love it. Yes. Sequin. Oh, there we go. It's stuck. I've got glue on the back of my finger. That's what it is. They are, they're not coming off, are they? No. Haha, <laughs> we've sussed it. Yay, our pills are working. But you could deck, you just add any decoration you want, anything you see fit. It's basically just a loaded envelope, but, uh, i got to show a bit of bling on here. Can't be a pearl. Uh, or a black pearl, as uh, Jack Sparrow would say. <laughs> I love the Pirates of the Caribbean films. They are my all time favourite. Look at those. Oh, bling, bling, bling. Let's get rid of those sequins because I will. I think I'm going to throw them in the bin. They're like two a penny. If that. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm a little bit dizzy then. Just bent over to add. Oh, right. There we go. There's my pocket uh, loaded envelope. Pocket, pocket. Pocket swaps. That's what it keeps. Uh, yeah, you definitely need a little spot of glue as well because that has just popped off. Definitely need glue as well as your tape. 
definitely. So I'm just going to hold, and if this one pops off, I will add glue to that as well. But I just added one, so we got one, two, three, four, five. So this one must have the same. One, two, three. There's something added extra on there. What's what's the difference there? One, two, three, four, five. Four. I'm, over, I'm just over counting it, that's what it is. One, two, three, four, five, and six with that one. And then one, two, three, four on that one. And this one at the back is five. You could even add another, like I say, a smaller one here. But these are my loaded envelopes. Oh, look at that. Flaming pearls come off now. <laughs> Oh, well, that, that's my ideas anyway. I hope you like. I hope you give us a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. Till next time. Bye.